Hello, welcome to The Morning Show with me, Martin King. And with me, Sybil Mulcahy. Coming up today, life living beside a wind farm. Most people who come to our home now just look at it and go, I couldn't live here. It's basically, I would believe it to be unsellable. With more wind farms set to be built here, some to service the British National Grid, we'll be looking at who's going to bear the brunt of such expansion. Also, just because a loaf of bread says whole grain on it doesn't mean it's any better for you. Later, we'll be looking at how clever wording on food labels dupe us into believing we're being healthier than we are. Plus, how restricting your child's internet access will not prevent bullying. That's according to one cyber expert. We'll be meeting the creator of a new site designed to help parents and kids combat cyberbullying head on. But first this morning, last month, the Minister for Energy and National Resources, Pat Rabbit, signed a memorandum of understanding with the British government, which will allow for wind turbines to be built in Ireland that will directly power the British national grid. Currently, two energy companies are developing plans for farms in the Midlands. Before we find out more about this, one couple who understand the reality of living next door to wind turbines are Philip and Catherine Hickey from Wexford. It was supposed to be their dream home, a place they chose to build when they returned from England. But a few months after moving in in 2007, Philip and Catherine Hickey discovered a wind farm was to be built behind them, the nearest turbine less than 500 metres away. When we heard about it, neighbours around, um, we all signed a petition against it and we tried to lodge that objection with um, Wexford County Council and they refused it on the grounds that it was one day too late. So the farm went ahead with the backing of Wexford County Council, breaking no planning guidelines. Six turbines were erected behind them, a further 12 alongside. And their presence has had a devastating effect on their everyday lives. The first thing we see when we open our blinds is the turbines behind us. Um, the noise is there. It's, as I've described, it's like aeroplanes flying around your house. It can be distracting if you're trying to relax, study. Even watching television or radio, you'll find you, you're moving the volumes up to cover the noise. The tonal noise that we get from the turbines will penetrate the blazing insulation, block work, and it will interfere in our sleeping quarters. It's not just noise. Shadow flicker from the blades is also a problem, which they say is like strobe lighting coming through the home. There would be other people who, have, who are not happy with the wind farm being so close, but at the same time, people won't speak out for various reasons. They don't want to upset their neighbours. From our point of view, it's as though we have wasted our money building our home. It was our dream home. You know, uh, we plan to stay here for the rest of our lives. The development has meant that we can't be allowed to enjoy our home as we intended to, internally and externally. Um, we can't make any plans for it now. Uh, we've lost interest in the home. Yeah. The fact what has happened in the sense of the fact that we're still fighting, um, if we could, we would actually be gone tomorrow now. But unfortunately, they believe that's not an option. Most people who come to our home now just look at it and go, oh, I couldn't live here. It's basically, I would believe it to be unsellable. We're not against uh, renewable energy, but there is a place for wind farms, and it's not within 500 metres of anyone's house. And the Hickeys had these words of warning for those who'll be affected by wind farms coming down the tracks. We're only lay people. We didn't really have a clue what was the impact on our lives that this was going to make. And by all indications, the turbines that are going to be used in the Midlands are going to be nearly twice the size of these. So it is, if they do have any concerns, there are people to talk to, both in councils, but local politicians and now the national group as well. Mm -hmm. 